What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog guys. We're going to do another Tech Tuesday today. But what do you think about my ET410.2? Sorry, I miss the number sometimes. Yeah, we went and ran at Gold Star Ran some carpet the other day. It was so much fun. God, I love that truck. If you don't know that, don't know anything about that truck or you have a carpet track and you've never driven it on there, you got to drive it. So much fun. Oh man, the sad part is, is Evan actually ran a faster lap than me. Dude, Evan's getting fast. Anyways, today what we're doing is I'm going to show you guys a little tip, a little trick to build the dreaded turnbuckles or the camber links or the linkages. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about, but basically it's a trick that I do almost every time, almost every time I build camber links um, because it just makes it so much easier. So we're still building the ET48 2.0. We're still in the process of that and that's what we're going to work on. So let's switch over to it. All right, in the awesome race craft, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this cool pit pod. You guys are actually sitting up on it and looking down. Anyways, really cool. I'll put a link in the description below to race craft, uh, Chase and the guy who does it. Super nice guy. He's the guy who owns them. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you another really quick tip. Uh, well, I just got done building my center diff. A lot of people don't know this and on in the manual, it actually doesn't tell you, but the way you space your, your brake pads on your on your brake disc isn't really in the manual. So the way you do it, or at least the way I do it, is one, these are your linkages that pull the brake closed. So basically what happens is your servo hooks up these and it pulls them closed. You want them to be kind of level on when they stop. So basically it applies brake at a, at the same, like the same distance. With that said, that doesn't have to be that way, but it just it's just better that way because you can always adjust the way your linkages pull these. And then you want just enough space where it can spin freely, but try to minimize the play in there. That way you don't have to pull these super far. So basically what happens when you hit the brake on your car, you're gonna, your servo is going to pull these things together or close like this. And if you can tell, like if it pulls it too far and you have these spaced out too much, uh, it's not going to get good pressure. So you just want it to just spin free and then stop together at the same time. Um, it's been a while since I built a nitro center dip, which with brakes, which is, is was fun. I just remember that. It's a quick tip. The only reason I'm telling you guys that is because I didn't see anything about it in the manual. It just said to to build it build it similar, build it the same. Another way you can tell to make sure your spacing's right is to close it, basically close your brake all the way and see if the space and the screw is the same. You want to make sure these screws are equal, um, otherwise your brake disc is gonna kind of come in at an angle. So. That was just a quick bonus tip. So what I'm talking about, about the dreaded turnbuckles are these guys. Uh, you have to put these turn these rod ends on these turnbuckles. These are actually the camber links, but they have similar ones for steering. Um, but sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get them on here. So Techno is usually pretty good at kind of starting it so it's easy to get on, but sometimes it, it, it's literally almost impossible. So here's a little trick. You take a body reamer and then you kind of just ream out just the start, not hard, but just the start of the end and you'll see just a little bit, basically just a little bit of plastic is ripped off and you have no idea how much it will help getting these things started. Once just a little bit's off, then you want to make sure you turn it on the right side and boom, they're on there. Make sure they go on there straight. There you go. So what I like to do when I build them is I have my turnbuckle wrench on here. So I hold it like this. And then you want to put something in this hole that basically fits the size of the hole. Because if you have something small, like let's say this, and I use this to turn this, it will actually put divots in the, uh, in the end, in the rod end. It doesn't really matter, but I don't like the way it looks. So this MIP bit is like perfect size. So then I just kind of build like this. Turn this like so until it's all the way on. I can't stand turnbuckles, by the way. I mean, it's it just kind of sucks building them. But again, that trick with the body reamer, a lot of people don't know that. And a lot of people, I've sat there and just destroyed my hands trying to get it started. Um, the old school way, just kind of putting it on there and trying to turn it on and it won't turn on. Um, so yeah, that body reamer trick really helps. Also, in the manual... It will actually show you that this is the actual size. So you can use this as a guide, 69.5 meters. Um, so you're going to basically, I'm going to screw this in to about right there. And uh, yeah, that's the trick on making, getting your turnbuckles built really, really easy where you don't destroy your hands or 
your turnbuckle ends. Camberlink ends, turnbuckles, they're called turnbuckles or camberlinks, however you want to. They refer to them as camberlinks in the manual. Steering links, um, but they're turnbuckles. Just remember, whenever you use the reamer on these ends, you don't have to push hard. Like, I'm barely pushing, and it's just barely scraping a little bit of plastic off the outside, just like that. That's perfect. And again, it will do wonders on getting it started. I just started this one. Um, gotta try to straighten it up. Best way to straighten it up is after you get it on a few threads, um, just make it nice and straight to your liking, which that's pretty straight. And I'm going to go in here. All right, one last tip is this little notch if you look at your a lot of people don't know this which is kind of crazy but if you look on the actual linkage the actual camera link there's this notch on the part that you actually turn uh, the notch needs to actually always go to the driver's side of the car a lot of people don't know that if you don't put it to the driver's side of the car it will still work but basically you're going to be adjusting your linkage is different on every one of them depending on which direction uh, that sits Another quick, man, I'm, it's like tip galore in this Tech Tuesday. Another quick tip is I don't put the actual ends. See, like you can see here in the manual, it tells you to put the ends in the, uh, which I think on this, actually, they're exactly the same. But I don't put the ends until after I build a linkage. That way, if I do accidentally put it on the wrong way, um, I can put the, the balls in. So when I say the ends, these balls, I don't put them in until after it's built. Um, Again, these aren't things that are going to make or break your car or your build, uh, but they're just tips that make life a little bit easier. And I've made mistakes in the past when doing this stuff, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it corrected. Uh, but there you go. There is a pretty, pretty camber link, and now camber links don't have to be a big pain in the butt for you to build. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. Uh, we're going to be doing Tech Tuesday until the ET48 2.0 is built. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm building the, the car that we're working on is actually the ET48 2.0. It's the truck, the nitro truck that just came out. I'll put a link in the description below by Techno. I am so excited to run this thing. But for the next few Tuesdays, will be Tech Tuesdays while I build this thing. Uh, after that, we will start back with Tamiya Tuesdays. But I hope you liked the video, guys. And if you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. And you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.